Today we will be talking about another bacterial disease that is tuberculosis. We will study the causative agent, how this disease spreads, is there any kind of vaccination which is available for it, what are the common symptoms and if there is any treatment. So all these heads we will be talking about. If you are not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. So for the disease is commonly known as TB that is tuber it's a bacterial disease. Causative agent is Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Mycobacterium tuberculosis. And this bacterium was discovered by Robert Koch. Discovered by Robert Koch. How is this infection going to spread? See, this in, uh, bacterium infects the respiratory tract. And from the infected person, the disease gets transmitted by direct contact that is through droplet infection. So the spread is direct through droplet infections. Because the infection is in the respiratory tract the person who has tuberculosis or TB, whenever the person coughs, those tiny droplets which are released, if those droplets are inhaled by the healthy person, the bacterium gets transferred. So it's a direct contact through droplet infection. How to detect? Detection of the, this disease. One, there are some simple symptoms on the basis of which we can identify whether the person has the disease or not. But for actual confirmed detection, there is a test which is known as Montau test. The spelling is M-A-N-T-O-U-X, but it is called Montau test. And in this test, Tuberculin is detected in sputum. So that thick mucus or saliva which is produced has this toxin, tuberculin. And tuberculin is the toxin which is produced by the bacteria. So we can detect this disease by Montau test. Now, what are the symptoms? Symptoms are, some symptoms are very common and that is why those symptoms get ignored very commonly. One, persistent coughing. We normally have cough, we cough for say two days, three days, a week at the most. Here it is for months. So if a person has this persistent cough or persistently coughing, then that can be one symptom. Then there is low grade fever. Whenever there is an in, any infection in our body, our body temperature slightly rises. This is actually a defense mechanism to fight against the pathogen. But if there is this persistent fever, low grade, 99, slightly lower, slightly higher, 99. So the person feels feverish. So this can be one symptom, which is again 
are ignored. Because of this persistent coughing, there is chest pain. These are some initial symptoms. Then, when this infection is like little long, tuberculosis is a, chron uh, is a chronic disease. Acute and chronic, we have talked of slowly this disease spreads and it goes on for a very long period of time. So, if the infection persists for a very long period of time, remains untreated, then after this, the symptoms would be weight loss. And this is unexplained weight loss. You may lose weight if you are on a diet. If you, you might lose weight if you are doing some kind of exercises. But here, there is no explanation why the person is losing weight. So this can be one reason. Sunken eyes. The sputum gets bloody. Bloody sputum. Because the person is coughing for such a long period of time, the membranes of our throat, they get damaged. And then when, while coughing, when the sputum or the saliva comes out, the blood vessels, because they get ruptured, blood is also lost. So these are symptoms, but initial symptoms are very common to most of the diseases. And that is why they get ignored most of the times. There is a vaccine available. The vaccine is BCG. It stands for Bacillus Calmete Gurin. Calmete Gurin, scientist's name, and Bacillus because it is a bacteria. So, this vaccine is available. And if we talk about the treatment, tuberculosis is 100% treatable, 100%. Only thing is the treatment is long. It takes almost one and a half years to two years because the infection is a chronic infection. It is 100% treatable and curable. Treatment is long and it includes antibiotics. We said on bacterial diseases, antibiotics are very effective. So treatment is mainly antibiotics. Now what happens here is, when a person starts taking the treatment, antibiotics are very effective on these bacteria. So a person who has been coughing for a month or two and starts taking antibiotic, the coughing subsides to a great extent. So a person who is coughing continuously for three months, four months, now it is like very, very mild cough. So it's a great relief. So after few doses of antibiotic, the person stops taking the drugs and after few days or few weeks again the infection increases. Now the patient goes to some other doctor, the other doctor gives another antibiotic, again the infection subsides, the person feels better, stops taking the medicine. Now what is happening in this entire process is the person develops multi-drug resistant TB. It is called MDRTB. Suppose there are 100 bacteria in the body of the person. And we know these bacteria have some kind of genes, antibiotic resistant genes. Say this bacterium has penicillin resistant gene and the doctor gives the antibiotic as penicillin. So all these bacteria will die except for these which had the resistant genes. So now in the body, there are these bacteria. They multiply, so they will produce only this type of bacteria. In these bacteria, some may have resistant genes against, say, 
uh, erythromycin. So if the second doctor gives erythromycin, these bacteria die. This one survives. So when this survives, it reproduces. And now the bacteria have a resistant gene against penicillin, against erythromycin, against some other antibiotic. That means now the bacterium which is present in the body of the patient is multi-drug resistant. It is resistant to various antibiotics and treatment of MDR-TB becomes very difficult because the bacterium which is there is resistant to all those antibiotics. So this creates a complication but regular uh, tuberculosis is treatable. National Tuberculosis Control Program, National TB Control Program was launched or introduced in 1962 and then it was revised in 1979. So it's a national uh, agenda that Tuberculosis should be treated, vaccination should be given, like there are many drugs which are, oh, sorry, many diseases which are on this immunization, national immunization program. So, like polio was one, tuberculosis is also one. And the aim is that every child, every individual should be given vaccination so that we can eliminate this disease. So, tuberculosis, simple, 100% curable, but MDR-TB becomes a complicated situation. Now, in the next part, we will talk about other diseases.